can move the bike. Okay? This is where winners and achievers separate themselves from wannabes. All right? We got two more speakers. You probably got other things planned. You better figure out what's the most important thing for your business, whether you're going to stay and learn or whether you're going to run off and go watch a football game or whatever it is, or lunch or whatever you got, okay? If you want to attract people that are going to do the kinds of things like what Thomas has done and what he's talking about, you had better get good at being one of those kind of persons. And those kind of people get stuff did without making excuses, okay? So we're going to go until the last speakers are done. And if you've got to go, then you get go. But I'm sticking around. You know why? Because I don't want two to three or four or five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars a month in this thing. This is a Ferrari that most people are driving like a bicycle. Yep. You ever see anybody try to pedal a Ferrari? That's your common energy distributor. Pedaling a Ferrari that has rocket fuel in it. And the only way you're going to learn how to drive that thing properly is to get around some people that are already driving faster than you. Unless you want to wreck a few times along the way. Which is how they got to drive faster than you, by the way, which is right a few times along the way, okay? So our next speaker is the TV guy coming down the airport. By the way, I met Tom in Oregon four, a little over four years ago, all right? Tom is like six deep in one of my lines, all right? And I take no credit whatsoever for what Tom has accomplished in Holland. I, I, I'm not pulling any punches there. In fact, I wish I had 15 or 20 or 30 more Toms that I couldn't take any credit for. They know I don't take any credit for because I put no time in. All I did was take the checks to the bank. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> that was wonderful. I want more of them. Huh? Heavy checks. Heavy checks. Okay? So this is one of the sayings that I believe, and maybe you want to adopt it to yourself, in relationship to the Synagy business. The whole point of the game is to not to have to play the game. I want out of the game, all right? I want you to be coming to the meeting a year from now while I'm in Maui talking about how you should be there too because you are still trying to pedal that Ferrari instead of getting that thing and drive it for all it's worth, okay? So I know Thomas is in the Ferrari. He's, we're gonna put some more gas in while you're here. We're getting a little light fuel, but he's already moving. He understands what he's got his hands on there. And I am proud now, I'm also proud to have him as a friend, but I'm very, very proud to have him as an international, national, business associated, associate, and what we're taking over the world, right? We will. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thanks so much welcome. Mr. Thomas. Woo! There's all these six A's, one A's, two A's, whatever A's, because I know you're all here to really do something in your lives for others. And um, like Jasmina said in her presentation, begin with, at the end, and I'm going to begin this talk and presentation with the end of my story. And that's become yourself, be yourself. And these four years in an attic, alongside of other things, have for me really helped myself to be myself, to discover myself, to really discover myself, who I really am. And the water has been a, like a, a red thread in that story, but a whole lot of other, other stuff happened and helped me to become myself. I'm going to focus on the water part, because we only have like how much time do we have? As long as you want. As long as I want. Great. Well, <laughs> in that case, let's go way back to my birth. <laughs> I only fly here once every few times, so last time I was here it was uh, four years ago. And um, I just quit my corporate job. I was working for, uh, for banks in IT, so me, myself, am also a left brain kind of guy. At least I was. And during the road, I discovered the power of emotion. Actually, I was already connected with this. Um, that's how I met Gabrielle. Paul mentioned her. She invited me to come over here. I'm a Canadian. I was born in Canada. I lived here until I was about eight. And, um, well, my mom took me, my brother, and my sister 
to Holland to live there because it was a safer choice. That's what she thought. And if I look in my system, that's what I was thinking when I was younger. That's why I got the safer job, safer education, followed that road, became a project manager in IT, and I was standing there in that company, in the big bank, and I felt like a robot. I was a drone. We were talking about that yesterday. And there was one day that I really came into the office and I was starting realizing this. And I was talking, I was starting to make, make fun of myself. I really came into the room <laughs> like a robot and greeted my colleagues in a, in a robot kind of way. And they thought I was crazy. They did not understand anything. But for me, that was a big shift in my consciousness because I was thinking, it's nice to make jokes, you know, but if I'm going to sit here, come in day and day and day after that, and still be the robot, yeah, that's not going to happen. So um, it was the, the big shift, big downfall in the econ economy, 2008, 2009. All my colleagues got fired. You know, they got kicked out of the company, a whole bunch. We had 120 consultants. Um, I think there were three or four layoff um, rounds. So there were like 70 over. And I didn't get laid off. I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get laid off. <laughs> didn't happen that way. I really had to make that conscious choice myself. So it was one day before I got on a flight to Vancouver to visit my grandfather, Vancouver, Canada. Clarify, and um, I called my boss. I said, "We need to talk. Come over here." So he visited me at the clients, and I just poured out my heart. I was doing um, spiritual development. I had been doing a, uh, a course to um, become a spiritual coach. That's how I met Gabrielle, and um, I told him, "Just give me a bag of money. I'm gone." And the same day, he crossed through my lease contract with my car which was the thing that actually kept me in the company for the longest. <laughs> I cried when I did the keys. <laughs> it was on the city. <laughs> the time. Oh, it was my oh, car, and that was my dream car. Nice car. Yeah. So I got that. But that was the first time I went to Canada. Things shift for me when I come over here. So that's why I'm very excited about being here again, four years later, just a month after becoming six a so for me, life is magical, life is synchronistical, and if you're open for these signs, it's not that hard. But if you're into your left brain, without the emotional part, it's harder to really see this. So um, I laid it over here, I met you all, I met um, Dan and, and, and Paul, I met Gabrielle, I saw the water, I saw what it was doing with the people over here, and. Um, that got me started. That's really what got me started. Because being here and seeing it, something clicked in me. I wanted to be a coach. I wanted to help people to be more healthy. And I saw all this in this one product. And yeah, there was a guy talking about the business and the numbers and the six-figure income. And they already sold me on the machine. <laughs> so I had to whack him away. <laughs> and um, yeah, I went back to Holland, and that's, that's where I bought the first machine. And then you're there with your first machine. I bought it with a friend of mine, Matthijs, who's still in the business. And we started um, to watch all the Gord's Gotcha's material. He was out there, all the YouTube videos, all the DVDs we could get our hands on, watch it, listen to George's words, you know, because there's some things that he says that are so to the point, I thought, wow, that's amazing. So we translated it, we made it like a Dutch version, but still with all the American um, pictures and American slogans, but translated in a Dutch way, and we did our first <coughs> presentation. It took us one year, one full year. We were giving the water away, and we had some people that were getting results, but they weren't ready to buy a machine yet. Probably because I was telling about the plates and about the voltages and about all the technical stuff <laughs> that I read about. I was totally overwhelming them with all the information. 
And actually, the first presentation we did was like two and a half hours at the, 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 the farm planning and everything. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> so that was the first stone I uh, did. And there were many more stones. And um, well, Paul actually said a few times that he didn't do anything for us. And I beg to differ. Um, there were no six A's in our main facility. They were on the internet, they were online, they were talking, you know, they were holding presentations. But I don't know if Paul still remembers this. It's red, but... There you go. You remember this, Paul? It's a text you sent to Gabrielle just after our meeting in the restaurant. I don't. What does it say? It says Thomas thinks very clearly. He will lead a world like this. And this text has inspired me since. Who? One text. And I'm still on my way. I don't have a world like this yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm on my way, and I'm going to get there. So also, keeping the end in mind, that's where I'm going to be. I hope with a lot of people like you, maybe with you, because I'm not going to rule the world in my, on my own. I'm going to give it away, probably, because that's in my nature. I'm more of an idealist, and that's how I am communicating the business in Holland. That's how we are communicating the business in Holland. Because when I met Roy, that was after like yeah, a little year and a half of stumbling around, trying to do presentations, the American style. And mm, I'm not a stereotypical Dutchman, but the stereotypical Dutchmen don't like the American style. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like the tell cell. It's the worst way to do a presentation for a Dutchie. So we're going to happy to help you to do the translations and put it in a different manner, <laughs> to be the leeway, I'll be happy to do that. So, um, yeah, I'll just share a few things from, from how I communicate this in Holland. Maybe uh, you find this worthwhile, how this goes. Um, well, to, to finish what I was uh, saying, and when I met Roy, um, we resonate on a hard level. You know, we have a very nice vision about the world should be without the chemicals, without the crappy water, without the JOBs where people are not happy, not healthy. And if you look at a way bigger picture, you can go into a lot of different stuff, but that's the core of everything. And that's our vision. And that's the vision of the website we've built called the Lighthouse. I will show you some later in the presentation. And that's the way we communicate this, because that's my core. It's Roy's core. So we communicate this from our core. And Canyon Water is a part. It's an important part. It's my financial flow. So it makes me direct the funds wherever I want to. So it empowers me. And it has helped me to meet so many beautiful people just because they recognize it. They recognize the machine like I recognized this machine four years ago. If I wasn't clear in my head, like Paul saw, <laughs> thank you Paul, um, I wouldn't have recognized this. I would have just moved through here, been back to Vancouver, come back to Holland, do whatever. You know, I was still um, building iPhone applications. I was still on the technical side. I still done a lot of different projects while Enagic was still one of the things. I'm still actually not even a full-time distributor because I have too many projects that I really want to bring into the world. So, next to the, is this like a pointer to or? Yes. With the laser? Do we have a laser? It's not very large, but it's there. Just Left, a right. round, round thing in the middle. Oh, there you go. There it is. This was my left brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I fill my left brain with this book. Water and the hexagonal <coughs> key. This was the development of my right brain. Energy work putting my body in high vibrations that really connected me to the love and gratitude that's in my heart. And for me, 
the interesting thing was that they both use the hexagonal form in the physics, in the energy work, and it's put me on the track with a lot of different things. It's really brought my own awareness about not even the world, how the universe works. You know, the bigger picture about why we're here, how I think, how, what I think we're here for. So that drives me <clears throat> from day to day, just because I'm able to be me <laughs> and share the stuff I'm passionate about, and people respond to that. And that makes you do more and more and more and more. And before you know it, it's your life. And you get invited to Portland. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Actually, last month, uh, the month I became 6A, it was the most lazy month in my energy career. I was sitting in a, a house of a friend, very nature, natural environment. She's a beekeeper, and um, her father does a lot of amazing things with trees, so I was just relaxing, actually. But it did feel good for me to be here, knowing that this would come, and being 6A, so I just intended it for it to happen. And, of course, you can intend stuff, but you have to take action. And I had done a lot of action in the months before that, you know, the rest of the year. And I trusted that it will come. And it came. 14 sales in the last month. Woo! So, I got the bonus. Wow. Yeah. that there's a mix, you know, we have action, we have the energy part. Um, in the presentation I use in Holland, uh, this is my trip to Brazil, and finding out that this waterfall, and we're also always talking about natural water, natural waterfalls, our machine makes this beautiful spring water. This is the pH of this water in Brazil. Ooh. It's not even four. <laughs> so, from the idealist heart that I possess, I say, guys, we need to change a lot of more stuff than our water to really help the earth. Because this is a beautiful area, but still, that's running through the veins. So, just a small thing. I use this in my presentation for awareness. Of course, the, the standard stuff from Shinya. This is me and Emoto at the beginning of the year. So I try to mix it. I try to mix the energetic side with the physical side. And of course, it broadens my own communication. I like both sides. I like to talk about both sides. I like to interact with both sides of the people, you know, the left brains are different than the right brains, <laughs> for sure, and um, yeah, I'm really um, just trying to shine a lot of light into the world, and the water is a very big part of what I do, sharing different parts in the body, what water does, I think you guys know all of this, you know her, Karina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is my blood. Oh no, the next one is my blood. And here, for me, it got very personal. It got very, like, ooh. This is like, what's going to happen? I was at a blood analyst, and he was interested in the water because he heard about the antioxidant property. And um, he um, had, like, a big marketing thing going on, uh, it's, it's popular. Well, you probably have Groupon over here. You have Groupon? Yeah. It's big mm -hmm. over here. He had uh, like a, a big uh, campaign. He got, got a lot of samples from the whole of Holland. So in like two months, he had sampled the whole country. So I asked him, what did you see? You know, what was the main thing that you saw in the whole country? And that's people living in the city of Amsterdam, city of Rotterdam, living far, far away, not, not even near a city. Although in Holland, you're always near a city because it's so small. <laughs> but the thing is, he had all the data. So I talked to him and I asked him, what's the main thing that you're seeing? And it was the free radical damage. And I don't know if I can play. You can see in this. Have, has any one of you ever seen 
this kind of things during mm -hmm. the course. Great. Very interesting because if you talk in Holland about the water, we have pH 8 water coming from the faucet. So I'm not going to scare them into buying a machine <laughs> by showing them their water city. It's not going to happen. We need different strategies to really sell the machines. So this is his blood. And you can see the white spots in here. These are all periodical damages. And he asked me, so how about you drink the water? Well, not three years. Can I have your blood? Uh, yeah, of course you can have my blood. <laughs> <laughs> so it was pretty exciting. And this is my blood. Wow. And of course, since I've been drinking tangy water, I also eat superfoods, eat green, work out. But I know that the water has enabled me to do a whole lot of things. I've always been healthy. I, I didn't okay, come here four years ago with health challenges. I just drank the water, felt my whole body really get strong, and I went to the gorge to surf nonstop over there. I was on the water for eight hours. Normally, three, four hours, I'm done. Yeah, so, this is very powerful, of course, if you can show this from yourself. So, if I can give, give any advice about the things you're communicating, make it your own. Make it your own story. You know, show your own things, your own stuff, your own journey. And for me, it's water and energy, awareness, these kind of things. It makes me feel good to talk about them, so... the hell? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so I'm very excited to be here. Because now my slides are international. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually get very excited by making presentations like this. Putting the pictures together, getting the whole thing moving, and eventually standing in front of a crowd. This is also a Dutch lesson, by the way. Is anybody... <laughs> Can you pronounce this, maybe? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> They're Dutch. Not the Dutch people. <laughs> no. It's um, the properties of water. And um, the first three are, of course, the pH, ORP, and the microclustering. They're known to you. But I like to add the energetic side. And then you go into the water memory. It's more of a emoto kind of thing. The bovine. Not much. You can find a lot of stuff on the internet. Does anybody know what bovine is? No. no idea. It's the life energy in your body. Your life frequency. This is so important. On the energetic side, of course. So if you acknowledge this, that's something you're open to. It's very important. And um, because I was talking to a lot of people, I was in a lot of groups that were health consultants, spiritual centers, you know, just you know, doing my thing, meeting my people that, that were attracted to me, of course, doing my thing. And this was the result of all those interactions, all those conversations, all those new things that started entering my awareness that was important in my world. And I just share my world with people. So. If you look at these things, you also have a lot of different ways to accomplish these things. Filtering, I'm going to translate this, it says filtering, vitalizing, osmosis, swirling water, energy, ionization. That's the list I've built. Because you probably know a lot of people that when you come up with, yeah, you need to look into the ionizer. Now what's the difference between osmosis? What's the difference between the filtering? We don't have filters, but can you explain this to somebody that doesn't know about water? It's very hard. So that at least it was something that was hard for me. So I tried to make a big overview. We just do, next to the information, we do, of course, the water bill. And this is a workshop that I present to people that is just a general presentation about water. And it's opened a lot of doors for me. Everybody wants to hear a general presentation about water. It's not a sales pitch. It's an informative evening. We talk about water. 
creating your own water. We're going to do the tests, see what it is. And yeah, it opens a lot of doors. So I've done this presentation in a lot of places in Holland. And of course, I meet a lot of people during this process. This is about the Bobby. People have like a light energy around the 6500. Most things, most products we use are under that, so they drain us of energy. This is not like the orbital story or the pH, that's a whole different thing. It's the physical side, this is the energetic side, and it always works together. If you raise your vibration through the common water, actually really raise it a lot, a lot, it's very special if you can give the common water to somebody that can feel energy, like they do with crystals maybe, and they can feel it, no sales pitch needed, no sales pitch needed. Just let them feel the water. Of course they do it by drinking it. So I slowly built up this overview for people that they have a lot of different things, a lot of different um, eigenschappen, properties, a lot of different ways of getting it that way. And of course, ionization for me. Every conversation, every time I did a test, came up on top. So for me, it, it could have been something else. I could have switched products, could have switched companies, but still, the pan and water, the SD501, if you really compare it to all the other ways of getting energy and getting water transformed into something amazing for your body, the SD501 is still at the top of the line, worldwide. And of course, we know Enagic is the best in what they do. So, I've um, partnered up with Roy. We built a nice website, the Lighthouse. Our slogan is the Lusine of New Capital. <laughs> okay. It means consciousness as the new capital. Because we actually believe that there will be a day without money. <laughs> That's what we believe. And we're just thinking of ways to get there. Because of course money is something very powerful, but it's also something very limiting. I believe that the, if you put all the skills of all the people in the world in one pile and put a value on that, it's going to be more than all the money in the world. But how can I pay you? I do a lot of energy sessions just for free. Because I think I can help this person to raise a new level. I always get something back. Always. Juicers, chocolate, <laughs> massage sessions. <laughs> Sometimes special dates. <laughs> it always works out. So, <laughs> we inspired a lot of people. These are the people in Holland. This is our little itty bitty country. Yeah. What size is this? If you compare this with, I think it's the size of New York or something like that. Yeah. Something the size like of New York. Yeah. You can drive from here to there two hours. Um, now three, three and a half. Three, three and, and a half, half hours. Yes. <laughs> if I take my Ferrari, one hour. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're trying to inspire people to just buy machines, share water, be themselves, discover their core. And the water is a very, very big part of this equation. Because the networking possibility of this product is amazing. And all the people in your downline are friends for life, family for mm -hmm. So, I like family, family can't be big enough. So yeah, this was um, on Facebook a big hit. I built this website, I had a, like, a vision, just wanted to get it a little bit out of the energy side, more into the more accessible for the left brain people, but still something with some awareness, you know, third eye, <laughs> it's going to form, you know, when you get into the system. And I launched this on Facebook as my newborn boy. 
I've never had so many likes in my life. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it was just after my Brazil trip, so people were a little bit confused. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what I do. The Canyon Water is a big part. And this is me. So if you have any questions, feel free. We'll have questions later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let me clarify something real quickly, just so you understand. Because some of you are struggling trying to figure out the mentality to build this business. Okay. And the more you struggle with the mentality to build this business, the harder it's going to be. You have to release the struggle and just get rid of all the the resistance of what you are trying to create and just go share with other people who want to create and let them be who they are, okay? And I appreciate you, Thomas, thinking I have some input in the, but maybe I sent that text, I guess you didn't create that or whatever. <laughs> but it's only because I recognized it. I didn't have anything to do with it, all right? And don't you want people like that on your team? Yes. Yeah. They want ownership of their life. They want ownership of their future. They want ownership of taking territory in the world, and they're willing to do that by going and sharing and changing and growing, okay? I want more and more and more of them, all right? So when I started, I was not thinking that way. Dan, who sold me my machine, I was not thinking about taking ownership of nothing. I was thinking about... Will he please shut up? <laughs> okay, and he'll attest to that. He would talk about the water or whatever, and I would just uh, I would zone in long enough until I could find another number on his Sudoku chart, and then I would be off to the next number, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, rude, yes, but did I care? No. You know why? I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking until he got to the language that I was ready to speak, and that language was a conference call that started talking about how to put the business side of it together. Now that was just me, okay? But you know what? Not everybody out there is like me. So if you're gonna have, if you're gonna want to build an empire in this thing, you got to do what Dan did, which is just drip and drip and drip until the person you're dripping on is ready, okay? And I am. I tell people if they ask me what I'm doing in this business, I am a professional drip. It's what I do. I'm very good at it. I know I have people that have bought machines just to get rid of me. It's okay. I don't care. Some of them have come back around. Some of them have bought machines because, machines because I drip long enough. They actually came to believe that he is not going away until, okay, and that's true too. Because that's exactly what Dan did. That's how I started. I just followed the same process. He just dripped. He let me keep coming out. I was getting water. We were drinking distilled water, okay? Sorry, Terry. Fell on you there. Why? We didn't know. You know what, you got people drinking distilled water because they, somebody told them it was good and Dan kept talking about this water and he did like, I don't know, eight or nine months of research on it and everything. You know how much research I did? None. Not any. Okay, doesn't matter. All right? So, guess what? That was four and a half years ago. We still get together and play Sudoku. We still talk. And yes, we do create things that bother and irritate Leslie on purpose and by design. It's true. You have read that properly. Okay? But I am...